Despite having their equipment trailer stolen less than a week before a gig at Hudson Brothers, the Ponder Project decided Monday night that the show must go on. Late Tuesday, the band issued a statement thanking those who have stepped up to help. While the names of individuals who have lent the band equipment remain unknown, Baker did acknowledge they had offers from all over the local music community regarding the use of drums, amps, and other gear. The equipment trailer, which was still loaded from a gig at Lake Tillery the previous weekend, was discovered missing Sunday evening. A South Carolina man is suspected of stealing the band's equipment trailer. Around noon Wednesday, the Hamlet Police Department released the name and photo of a suspect in the case, Darian Coke Bryant of Greenville, South Carolina. According to the department, Bryant is driving a stolen red 2017 Toyota Tundra with a South Carolina 45-day tag. The tag cover has a Parks Buick GMC logo on it. The truck also has a black bed cover and a large trailer hitch. The band is offering a $1,000 reward for information leading to the recovery of the trailer and its contents. The North Carolina Forest Service is urging people across North Carolina to remain vigilant in reducing wildfire risk. While recent rainfall brought immediate and temporary relief to much of the state, Warmer, drier days combined with winds could quickly dry forest fuels, increasing the risk of wildfire. Many tourists come to Western North Carolina to see the changing leaves or for extended stays to hunt. Some of these visitors will use campfires as a source of heat. Where there is fire, there's a risk of that fire escaping into areas where fuels are dry and readily available. The North Carolina Forest Service offers plenty of tips on how to prevent wildfires and be prepared. That list can be found on richmondobserver.com. U.S. Representative Mark Walker has the NCAA's attention when it comes to fair pay for student athletes, but he wants action for the collegiate sports giant and from Congress. The NCAA's Board of Governors voted on Tuesday to allow college athletes to use their name, image, or likeness for profit. It's a landmark decision and one that may have been catalyzed by legislation from Walker. House Resolution 1804, or the Student Athlete Equity Act, would change the federal tax code, effectively requiring the NCAA let athletes get paid for their name, picture, or other personal branding. If it didn't, the organization could lose its tax-exempt status. Compensating student athletes is trending on a state level. Last month, California adopted the Fair Pay to Play Act, also letting NCAA scholarship athletes get compensation for use of their name, image, or likeness. College athletes could get a percentage of revenues from sales of personalized merchandise or accept money from commercial sponsors and remain eligible to play sports on scholarship. When we return, we've got your Live at 5 weather report. It's coming up right after break, so stay tuned. Locally owned and operated, Fifth Dimension is a place you'll want to check out. Whether you need vape supplies, signs, business cards, decals, or your chakras aligned, we have you covered. Our in-house print shop has quick turnaround time and is open seven days a week. We offer a wide range of products including natural stones, herbs, pendants, CBD, kratom, and more. Please visit us at 639 East Broad Avenue in Rockingham, North Carolina. That's 639 East Broad Avenue in Rockingham, North Carolina. McNair Auto Sales is the place to buy your pre-owned car, truck, or van. To be the best, it takes big selection, friendly staff, and great pricing. We guarantee a no-hassle buying experience, and financing is available right on site. So come see us today. We're located at 1026 East Broad Avenue in Rockingham. And remember, with over 40 years of experience, you know McNair is the name you can trust. At Richmond County Hospice, we strive to provide high quality care to our patients and their families. Whether it's the incredible hospitality at the Haven House or from the comfort of your own home, you can count on hospice to be there for you. We also offer monthly grief support groups and our chaplain will be there to hold your hand in prayer. Through our amazing staff and our volunteers, hospice has made difficult times easier for our community. Call the number on your screen if you feel that you or your loved one may benefit from our services. Richmond County Hospice, peace, comfort, dignity. Your Live at 5 weather report is brought to you by RO Yellow, Richmond County's new online business directory. 
Happy Wednesday, folks. It is pretty, pretty cool today. Not too bad whatsoever. Uh, a little bit warm, but we're still seeing uh, some 60 degree weather, just kind of on the edge of it, especially tonight. Uh, we're looking at 69 pretty much for the entire evening uh, across uh, between 7 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 69 degrees, mostly cloudy skies. Uh, so still keeping it warm. But looking at tomorrow, of course, it is Halloween night. And unfortunately for you trick or treaters out there, uh, tr Trunk or Treat in Rockingham has been canceled, um, but you can still go out to the Qualitorium. I believe they've got some pretty cool stuff along for uh, treaters as well as for trick treats, candy, everything you need for that. Uh, so there's definitely some uh, activities that you can still do for Halloween night if you're still looking to get your sweet tooth. Um, but looking at the rest of Sand Hills, we are seeing a lot of rain coming into the area and uh, there's plenty going on there with that. But sorry, I'm in Fayetteville. We got a high of 82, low of 49. Rayford will be a high of 82, low of 47. Lumberton will be a high of 82, low of 51. And then Lombard's will be a high of 83, low of 49. Southern Pines will be a high of 80, low of 45. Ellerby's going to be a high of 81, low of 45. Rockingham and Hamlet will see a high of 83, low of 46. Bennettsville will see a high of 83, low of 48. And then Waysboro will see a high of 81 and a low of 45. Uh, and taking a look at the forecast for tomorrow, we're still seeing plenty of rain, about a 50% chance in the day, a 60% chance in the evening, uh, high of 83, low of 46. Friday, we are seeing uh, pretty much part of the skies. It was forecasted to be kind of a little bit more, uh, kind of a dreary, but not too bad. Uh, now we're seeing part of the skies for sure happening. So football Friday night should be pretty good to go, uh, but it will be a high of 60 that day, a low of 39. And then Saturday, we're going to see sunny skies with a high of 63 and a low of 38. Sunday is going to be sunny skies as well with a high of 60 and a low of 35. Then Monday, more sun on the way with a high of 64 and a low of 46. Now Tuesday, rain's coming back in with a 30% chance in the day, 60% uh, chance in the evening, high of 69, low of 49. And then finally Wednesday, 60% uh, 60, 60 chance in the evening for rain, uh, but no chance whatsoever in the evening. Be a high of 70, low of 45. So. Uh, Halloween is looking a little bit rainy this this year, um, but we are. If you're going out to the fair, you know you still got Friday and Saturday to enjoy that time at the very least. So there's still plenty of outdoor activities you can do uh, coming up, uh, even though Thursdays look pretty bad for Halloween night. But uh, that's going to do it for your lineup five weather report. When we return, we've got your RO Sports update. It's on the way right after this. Richmond Community College's electric utility substation and relay technology program is a game changer. Established as a partnership between Richmond CC and Duke Energy in 2011, this innovative, one-of-a-kind program was created to address the nation's growing demand for technicians capable of working on the protective relaying that controls America's high-voltage power grid. While entry-level technicians in the utility industry normally require five years of training, Richmond CC's two-year program was crafted specifically to cut the training time in half and fast-tracked its students toward high-skill, high-wage jobs in the industry. Graduates of the EUSRT degree program are making between $50,000 and $75,000 in their first year of employment. As lead instructor Steve Lampley said, we have the program, we have the jobs, now we need more students. Enroll in Richmond Community College's electric utility substation and relay technology today. Hometown heroes? Well, maybe. When it comes to backyard comfort and no pesky mosquitoes, call Brown Termite and Pest Control at 910 895-6410 or 910-276-8870. Their team of superheroes can take back control of your paradise. That's 910-895-6410 today. Just like it has all season, the Rockingham golf team dominated the competition and last week's SEMSAC championship in Scotch Meadows Country Club. The Rockets and head coach Wendy Rotoliter put their finishing touches on a productive 2019 season by winning the team championship. Between the Rockets' top four golfers, Rockingham posted a score of 411, playing 18 holes in the championship instead of the normal nine holes like regular season matches. It has Rockingham eighth grader Trace Wallace, who shot a tournament low 85. The, that, marked was, that mark was good enough to earn Wallace the title of Boys Individual Champion. In the previous four regular season matches, he also saw his name at the top of the leaderboard. 
The Richmond Senior High School boys soccer team wouldn't let its run through the SAC tournament end without a fight. The Raiders played their best game of soccer all season, according to head coach Chris Larson, despite falling to Pinecrest 2-0 on Tuesday. The semifinal match saw both squads battle for dominance, seeing the first 40 minutes of play remain com competitive and go scoreless. Two small miscues by the Raiders in the second half would see the Patriots advance in the SEC tournament title against Hope County. Richmond now finds itself sitting on the fence in a waiting game that will see if the Raiders make it into the NCHSAA 4A state playoffs. As of the most recent power rankings, Richmond sits a handful of slots out of the top 48 teams. The NCHSAA will release its official playoff brackets on Monday, with the opening round set to begin on Wednesday. Two weeks after the Richmond football program won the Wear It Like a Pro contest, the Raiders had a surprise visitor waiting for them at Tuesday's practice. Effie Obata, a second-year defensive end for the Carolina Panthers, arrived at Richmond's practice fields to congratulate the, congratulate the Raiders and the community for winning the contest. Held for six weeks, the competition was a collaborative effort between the Panthers and Blue Cross Blue Shield to encourage player safety. Richmond County backed its football team, voting hundreds of thousands of times to secure the Raiders' win. As a reward, head coach Brian Till and the program of roughly 150 players received 24 brand new Riddell Flex Speed Flex helmets, a style of helmet worn by NFL players and one of the highest safety rated helmets in football. Till said the exciting afternoon will have li little bearing on Richmond's next game is on Friday, which will see the Raiders host 71st. It's Senior Night and Breast Cancer Awareness Night will kick off with kickoff set for 7.30 p.m. And that's going to do it for tonight's edition of Live at 5. For the latest news, sports, and events happening in Richmond County, visit richmondobserver.com or download the free RO app for your mobile devices. For the Live at 5 crew, I'm Sarah Minks. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Richmond County.